We are in my kitchen today. As you can see, I am going to be doing my flower arrangements. I grabbed a few jars from Dollar Tree and then I got all the flowers from Trader Joe's. That's where I got all my flowers. This beautiful bouquet of flowers my husband got me and it's so nice. And it also came with like a huge balloon. I wanna show you it. Got this many flowers. I'm obsessed with flowers, and I got these at Trader Joe's. You can't see them much. I got them yesterday, so I put them in water, and I put them in water because I didn't want them to die. And I also have a few tips for you guys on how to keep your flowers alive longer. I have the cutting board here. I need my huge knife. So I have my huge knife. I feel like these arrangements, the smaller ones are gonna be easier. So these are gonna be out of the picture. Guys, these are the most inexpensive flowers are from Trader Joe's. I got these two cute mini bouquets for $3.99. $3.99 right there. And look how gorgeous. They kind of remind me of a wedding bouquet, but Seriously, look at the detail. I love them. I love these little, I don't even know what they're called, but super adorable. I've been spritzing them to stay hydrated, and I also kept them in water. But $3.99 for a small bouquet, literally the cutest thing. I love it. It's from Trader Joe's. These little glass jars from Dollar Tree that I just got today. I'm going to wash them. So step number one, whatever container you're gonna put your flowers in, make sure that you wash them. It might have some contaminants in it and that will kill your bouquet of flowers faster. Okay, so they're nice and clean and they're still wet. I am going to use some napkins. I know you guys can't see me now as much, so like I said, we are going to need a cutting board, a really sharp knife as well, and I'm going to put these over here. You also need some water. I just put the water in the kettle, and then some baking sugar. Now I'm going to open the beautiful flower arrangement. They're getting rotten, so I'm gonna have to rinse all this off. These are like pretty messy here. I'm gonna rinse these off. Okay, so they're washed. This is like a messy job, so make sure you're taking all of the leaves that will be in the water because that really ferments the water and we don't need the water to be growing bacteria. I'm just looking through all of this. It needs to come out. I don't even know. Yeah, this is all gonna kill the flowers rather quickly. I'm just gonna This one's already wilted, so let's just get rid of that. Okay, this is all slimy. I'm going to wash these again. Um, there's no more stickiness or old flowers on it. I'm just gonna pick up at this little area really quickly and wipe it down. You don't want none of that. Ooh, hold on, let me get this. You don't want none of the bacteria back on your flowers. So clean up your space. 
you're also supposed to be cutting the flowers underneath water and that will make your flowers last longer but i'm not doing that today poor little thing so big okay. okay so we're gonna cut these i have to see how big i want them i want to cut that much off to put the sugar half a tablespoon put your water So pretty. Super beautiful. I am just going to time lapse this just to make everybody's life that much easier because I have three bouquets to do, including this one and I also have two other ones. I also chose these flowers. Not that many people like them. They're literally the same price as these two bouquets, but I really do love these flowers. And I'm going to put it in this jar that I also got at Dollar Tree. Super pretty. The sunflower one, so cute. They all look so gorgeous. Super excited right now.